Hi, my name is Nicolette Hedges and I am the illustrator for Grandmas Are Lovely, written by Meredith Costain. So today I will be showing you um, my three favourite tips for using watercolours. So one of those is dry layering, which is when we do a, a layer or a wash, we wait for it to dry and then we keep building it up so it becomes deeper and richer in the colour. The second one is called the wet in wet technique. That one involves dropping colour into a wet area and watching it dance outwards. And the third technique I will be showing you is splattering, which is one that I love and I feel like it adds a little bit of fun to every painting just to have a little bit of splashed colour. So I will be showing you how to do those today. Now there is one top tip that I will share with you for using watercolours and that is that we don't actually use white paint. So everything that you wish to keep white in watercolours is actually going to be kept the colour of the paper. So you sort of always have to think ahead of areas that might be lighter that you want to keep white and you avoid painting those areas. So let's start off with our top tips. So basically, I will usually start off by doing a very faint sketch of my object, of my artwork. So as you can see, I've already drawn up a few little outlines of what I will be painting today. So here I have already started off by doing the dry layering technique. So I wanted to put down a wash first and I didn't want the colours to melt in together and go too dark too quickly, which, it, which can happen with watercolours. So I, I did that earlier and I let it dry. So now I'm going to be taking another layer of the paint. I'm going to have a, put a little bit of brown, different browns on there. A little bit of greys in here and I'm going to, to, to darken the areas that I want to go darker. But I want to keep certain areas light so I don't cover the whole area again. I think about where the shadows are and what I want to keep light and what I want to make dark. So here this gum that is behind this other gum that. So I'm going to make this one have little areas that are darker. So that's one way of building up a painting if you don't want the colours to melt into each other. And here you just build it up slowly and gradually. The other technique that I love is the splattering technique that I mentioned earlier. So this one I've drawn up my beautiful gum flowers, which are sort of like these exploding fireworks of colour. And I'm going to have fun with this one. So I'm going to get some red on my brush. And I'm just going to start doing the, those little stamen that they have coming out of there. We'll just build it up. We can add all sorts of reds into it so it's not just one red. We build it up, build it up, build it up. So it becomes a full firework flower. You're just sort of looking at the rough shapes. We don't need to get caught up in too much details at the moment. Just having fun doing these beautiful firework looking flowers. Now the best part is the spluttering. So to do the splattering, we get some colour on our brush and we don't go crazy with it and we don't splash it everywhere, but we gently tap our brush. And you see how that colour is, sometimes it goes a little bit out of control, but that's one way of doing it. You can also do a very gentle, tiny flick. And you just control where those little splashes are going. 
and it sort of makes it a little bit more fun and lively. I usually add a bit of yellow and I put a few dots in myself. It makes it lively and fun. That's, that's a really good technique I love. And the third technique I love to use, of course, is the wet in wet. So I'm going to get my bigger brush here. And I'm going to look at these leaves and see how they, they have those little cracks in there. And you can see there's a tiny bit of orange that comes in. So I'm going to try and get that going with, with, my, with my leaf too. First I'm going to do the yellow line that goes down the centre. So I'm just going to paint that in. And I'll do the other one. It's good to have a clean brush between, between colours. So I, I often clean my brush like that. Now because it's such a wide area, I'm going to use my wider brush. So we get some green here. And I'm just going to start putting in the colour here. And with watercolours you sort of push the brush around rather than painting with it like you would in with acrylic paint or other paints. And what I'm going to add now is I'm going to see this, I can see a little bit of, of a blue green in there. So I'm going to drop some blue in there. We'll clean that brush. I'm going to drop some yellow in there. And push it around. We can add some more water. Just drop some clean water into it and you can see the paint is going to start moving around by itself. We'll drop some more water in there. Some more colour. And then I'm going to get my small brush and have a look at that beautiful orangey brown on the outside. And I'm going to do that little edge, and I don't mind if the colour runs in. See how it's starting to make those gorgeous patterns? And the water's just doing that by itself. So you never really know what sort of, what sort of pattern you're going to get. We can always drop some, some more of these. See those little dots that go in there? Can drop a few of those in. Then we can go back to our dry layering, which we already prepared earlier, and we can get that gum nut looking nice and and dark in the shadowy areas. And then I'm going to do a little bit of that splattering that we were practicing earlier. Just gently splattering. And there we go. You have our wet in wet technique here, the dry layering that we did here, and all those fun splattering techniques that we tried earlier. So give it a go. This is one of my favourite illustrations from the book. I had so much fun painting these guys. This particular illustration really shows you how beautiful the wet in wet technique can be. You can see in the fur I've dropped in all sorts of colours when the paint was still wet and the water has made them feather out into these interesting shapes. I really love this technique because you don't really know how it will end up and you have all these beautiful patterns made by the water and the paint and how they dance around on the paper. Well, that's it from me. I hope you guys have learnt something interesting about watercolours and I hope that you'll be brave enough to give them a go yourself because they're really fun. Thanks so much and happy painting!
Bye.